Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is Magnus and welcome back to another episode of Kerbal Space Program. Today we're going to be attempting to use payloader to make a payload along with our launch vehicle for our space station core and we're going to try, try mind you, to make some sort of refueling tanker thing. I'm not really sure exactly what I'm going to do yet, but because absolutely no one sent me any craft files that they want me to use, I have to build something of my own. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, and we're back. Hello everyone. So we made the fuel launcher and unfortunately I discovered during a test flight that it didn't have any batteries so doing anything on the far side of Kerbin, the one not on the side of the sun, was sort of difficult so I decided to put on some batteries and we're gonna we're gonna try this again but this time we're gonna do it for real on camera and I'm pretty sure that we can get to orbit with this thing if I do everything correctly. As you can see, we basically used the same launchers before, our orbital launcher. Payloader does indeed work. I really suggest all of you try it out. It's pretty amazing. And yeah, so we just connected a lot of struts here to hold this thing steady. Put some solar panels on it and some batteries and we're gonna try to fly it. So, here we go, the fuel launcher. Let's launch. And I really hope that the sound isn't delayed in this particular recording since, you know, I, I think I fixed it. Please let me know in the comments below if it's fixed or not. I would very much appreciate that. And physics, turn on our SAS, put this up to 100% or so. And five, four, three, two, one, lift off. Oh, that takes off really freaking fast. All right, let's get up to 200 and... Put this... Yeah, we run out of the first fuel tanks really freaking quickly. There we go, there go the first ones. Up to 200 meters per second. Come on, and there we go. Okay, and we're good, keep it down. Keep it down. We're going to continue to accelerate as we use more fuel and our weight goes down, so I have to keep pushing this down lower and lower until we get to 10 kilometers. Oh, this is such a strange ship. It's pretty strange looking, but as long as we get into orbit, it should be fine. I may have to use a little bit of the fuel that we have in the tanker, but that's no problem at all. There's lots of fuel in these things. All right, so let's go ahead and drop these tanks. Drop, and let's start our gravity turn. Now that we are out of the thick atmosphere, let's go ahead and start. There we go. No problem, all right. And maybe turn that down just a little bit so we're not wobbling that much. A little bit of wobbliness. Let's check out on the orbital view. Our orbit is looking fine. Maybe could have used a little bit more height, but I think we'll be fine. No problems. Not yet, at least. Using up fuel like crazy. As soon as this gets to 80, we're going to cut our engines, or maybe 85, yeah. Oh, wait, something just happened. Drop them. All right. And now we're going to push this down quite a bit and cut the engines. All right, and now we're going to turn on the RCS because we need this to actually be able to pilot this thing. 
Slow down, slow down. No, 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 no. Oh no, what's going on? Terrible, terrible things. <laughs> Why is it spinning out of control? Why is everything getting worse? <laughs> oh, what's going on? <laughs> Please stop. Please. Oh, this did not happen the last time. What in the world? Come on, stop. Okay, there we go. Nice. Okay, now we need to turn RCS back on and get close to the line at least. Come on, come on, slowly. Slowly make it. So basically, once we get into orbit, I think what we're going to do is we're going to pause the video and I'm going to jump ahead to where I get close to the station since I'm, I'm moderately sure I can find the station. Maybe, I think. I don't need to be on video for that, right? Right, surely. Oh, this is really difficult with this giant tanker on me. Okay, okay. Come on, let's let's go back. Going back would be good. Come on. Okay. Da, 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 da. All right. Let's let's stay here. Okay, that's good. Thank you. And what's up? It go go go. A little bit too much wobbling. A little bit too much wobbling. Okay, so did you guys see the news about the explosion on the moon from a meteorite hitting it? Is that awesome or what? I was like, oh yeah. Oh no, this is bad. Oh no, we're we're going down. Yeah, we need some more altitude. Darn it. Why do I waste so much of my fuel? Alright, that that should be good, maybe. Uh, I think I think this will get us into orbit. Probably, maybe. We have plenty of fuel, right? Right? No. We don't. As long as we don't fall back into the atmosphere, I think we'll be good. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're good. Our AP is rising. Yeah, there we go. Okay, the AP is above us now. So let's go ahead and get back closer to here. We basically want to ride our AP. That's where we want to stay. Keep our AP nice and tight to the planet at around 80. Oh, what just happened? 82? And 86, all right, very good. So we are officially in orbit. We only have a little bit of liquid fuel left in this tank. Or is it this one? I can't even... T yeah, it's this one. So we only have a little bit left in here. We're going to use this nuclear engine to try to catch up to the space station. And I will be back with you as soon as we've done that, assuming that it's possible. Thank you very much, and we'll be right back. Okay, everyone, and we're back. Hello. We are speeding towards our Kerbal International Space Station. And honestly, I'm a little bit frightened, but I think I think it'll be okay. I'm not gonna not gonna worry too much about this. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can get this down to five meters per second, because I do not want to hit our space station. That would not be good at all. And as soon as we get down to five or maybe four, I think we are going to switch over to oh, what is it called? Chase cam. Yeah, chase cam, so that we can have a better view of what exactly we're doing here. Okay, we... Let's see, how do we... Yeah, okay. That's that's better. We need to point ourselves in the right direction, so we're actually going towards it, of course. And there we go. Yeah, there we go. And now we're at 2.5, so let's go ahead and put that on there. And yes, I can see it coming now. Let's switch over to, let's see, V? Is it V? Yes, orbital and chase cam. All right, so we're on chase cam. We're going to switch over to our space station, and we're going to put these inside, because this is really freaking dangerous. All right. 
Hensby and Lemgard, I am really sorry if I end up getting you guys killed. Alright. We have it all worked out. We're going to quick save. So that we don't kill anyone, just in case. Alright, we're good. And switch this to target. Why will it not switch to target? There we go. And target. We're we're all good. 2.3 meters per second. And we're closing. Very nice. So yeah, about that meteorite that hit the moon. It apparently ended up making a flash that was, what, the brightness of a magnitude 4 star? It was one of the brightest things in the night sky, if you just happen to be looking at that exact spot on the moon at that exact second, because it was only visible for about a second anyway. Quite, quite amazing stuff, if I do say so myself. Of course, I wasn't looking at the moon. It probably wasn't even nighttime here in Korea when it happened. But nonetheless, I saw the video and it looked really cool. So you should totally look it up on the news if you haven't already. Very, very interesting things. Oh, and apparently, this is sort of tangently related to SpaceX, but Tesla, which is run by the same guy as SpaceX, Elon Musk, Tesla has received some more money to do some more research. And that's always interesting, especially for electric cars, because I'm sure that electric-based technology is going to be vital in our future for colonizing the moon and Mars. So in general, I'm just really excited about that. Okay, let's see. I want to make sure that we continue to go towards the station. And also at the same time, we need to start slowing down. Because I don't want to hit them. <sighs> See if we can get it at one meter per second. A. Maybe 0 0.5. 0 0.5 would be cool. This is sort of the largest thing that I've ever attempted to dock onto a station. I'm very worried about this. <laughs> oh well. Not much that we can do about it now. There we go. Uh, how am I supposed to dock this? This is ridiculous. Um. Maybe, maybe we should try to dock it underneath. Maybe, oh, oh crap, we should... We should slow down, slow down. Okay, good. There we go. So we are officially slowed down. We are slowly spinning. Not sure what to do about that. Actually, let's just, let's just try to dock it freaking anywhere. I don't, I don't really care. Oh, what to do, what to do. Um, okay, so we're going to look at it from this angle, and we are going to use up all of our RCS to do something like this, and we are going to get vertigo. Yep, I can feel it already. Feel that amazing vertigo. Okay, so now... Okay, we just want to go down. Alright, okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Are we going to hit this thing? Ah, uh, yes we are. Okay, so let's try to go backwards. Is this backwards? No, I think that's forwards. What is going on? Okay, here we go. Now we're going backwards. Yep, we're good. We're good. We're good. Let's uh, flip it this way. Okay. Everything is going to be alright. Let's set this specifically as our target. Okay, we're good, we're good. <laughs> I hate docking. Okay, um... Looks like we may possibly... Uh, no. Okay. Now let's go forward so that we're actually aiming towards it. Okay. There we go. Yes. Yes. Maybe. I think so. Okay, I think we're headed towards it, and now let's just point it there. 
And how close are we? Oh, oh, slow down, slow down, slow down. Ah. Magnets, magnets, magnets. Yes, 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 please. <laughs> please, magnets. Oh, take off the, R the SAS and R RCS. And come on, make, make sweet space. Yes. Oh, wow. And we just put a ton of fuel onto our space station. Look at this. Liquid fuel, 2,743 liquid fuel, and we of course have 358 from the actual space station core. We can now open the solar panels again. Really need to make an action group for this. That is absolutely beautiful, look at that. Look at that. Nice. Wow, that was a lot more stressful than I thought it would be. But it looks like we pulled it off with flying colors. And indeed, the moon is back there congratulating us as well. Lemgard, Kerman, and your friend, whoever you are, congratulations. You now have a very, very large fuel tanker. I can't wait to attach something up here and use that fuel for something useful. Beautiful. Oh my god, I love this game. Hensby and Lemgard, you are my best friends. Alright, so... I think that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for joining me with building the tanker and getting it into orbit and putting it onto our space station. It was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Megnius, and I will see you next time.